So I don't know if you guys remember this, but Fortnite in season, what was it? It was season nine or 10. They basically took the pump out of the game, which the pump shotgun, pump shotgun is what made Fortnite Fortnite. Like the pump shotgun is what a lot of people think of when they think of Fortnite, you know? Because it's like, it was so instrumental in the combat at that time. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but dude, like, in Season 9... No, I think it was Season 10 of Fortnite. Season 10, there was all this controversy because they took out the pump, right? They took out the pump, they added mechs, and yeah, Fortnite was a little bit in shambles. And also, you gotta remember, that time period was during the World Cup. That was the biggest tournament for Fortnite in Fortnite history. That's still the biggest tournament. There's no tournament that put up $30 million. Are y'all crazy? So it was pretty instrumental, pretty weird that they took the pump out because the pump was instrumental in Fortnite's combat up until then. So for them to make a change like that for the World Cup shook up the whole world. I mean, if you went into Fortnite's chat anywhere, you go on their Twitter page, you go on their Instagram page, you go on their live stream when they would stream events, all it said in the chat was revert, 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 bring back the pump, revert, revert. So, oh, I'm gonna quit if you guys don't bring back the pump. So the reason why I'm relating this to Apex now is because when you love playing a game and that game does something that you don't like, even if it is bad, you can't go, oh, I'm gonna stop playing this game because fuck you guys and then leave. But then if they change it and bring it back to what you like, then you hop back on. That's a bad, that's like the whole dead game. Oh, it's a dead game debate where dude, people said that Fortnite was dead literally three, four years ago. Like that was in 2020. They were like, nah, this game's dead, bro. Like stop playing that game, man. I don't know why you guys play it. Meanwhile, Fortnite literally had one of the biggest updates in its history when they brought back OG Fortnite and then they did the Lego Fortnite right after that. Those were the biggest player counts that we've seen in years. I mean, come on, man. Since they even started telling you how many people are in those lobbies, because before they didn't let you know. So it's like, yeah, since they started doing that, that's the biggest player count. And that was recently. That was like last year. So it's like, you can't even say, oh, it's a dead game. It's this, it's that. Stop playing. Because it's like, uh, it's a weird debate. So when I saw this thing, when I saw all of these things about the Apex Battle Pass situation, oh, now you have to pay harder in cash for the Battle Pass. You cannot grind for a couple seasons, save up your Apex coins and use those coins those coins are about to be completely worthless pretty soon they're basically gonna be hey uh spend money to make it in the coins and then still have to spend money to buy the battle pass which is like i mean come on what are we doing here man so i think when you really think about apex and the situation that it's in it does suck that they're gonna do that for the people that don't want to spend money you know they just want to keep grinding and playing for free it's like okay that does suck but i will say if that's why you're gonna quit apex you weren't really that big of a fan as you think you were because if you were that big of a fan you would still probably play that's not like that's not oh this is literally ruining the game it's half of the people that are even saying that i guarantee you buy a bunch of skins every season i probably bought in a whole collection event now they're going, what? I have to spend more money? It's like, okay, and it's fair to even say that. But for you to argue, well, I'm uninstalling. It's like, uh, I just don't think you were the biggest fan of Apex, if that's your that's your take, you know? Here's the thing. You guys have the right to be mad as Apex fans. I mean, shit, I stopped playing Apex a long time ago just because I saw stuff that they would do that was really greedy. And it had nothing to even do with the Battle Pass shit. This is literally a year, two years ago when they canceled Apex Mobile. Number one, that's when I quit. And then when they started doing the, oh, you don't get a free pack every collection event? What? No. I already knew that was the writing on the wall. But I will say i wasn't the biggest apex fan like i played a lot i definitely put the time in i was more of a fan of apex arenas but they took that away so i mean i just i don't think that that's good for the health of the game as a whole for you to say hey i'm gonna uninstall it if you don't want to play that's fine for you to make a video like oh this is so ridiculous you know i understand it but 
this is the thing the gaming communities complain so fucking much it makes me not even want to be a part of any of them because as soon as the game changes to where somebody doesn't like it they will act like the game is literally unplayable unplayable like no no no. this battle pass shit happened now i can't play apex at all and it's like that's not really the best argument i understand you wanting to pay with your wallets i'm sorry i understand you wanting to you know show where your heart is with your wallet you say hey i'm not spending money on that that's egregious that makes sense but making a video a 10 minute video 20 minute video dude i saw a guy make a 30 minute video just rambling about how apex is so shitty and he doesn't know how he sinks 40 hours a week into the game it's like dude i don't i don't think you were having fun if you hate all those things about the game i don't think you were having fun to begin with i don't think you were really that big of a fan i think you want i think you were a fan of apex in a certain specific state like no it has to be season three apex across the board it changed anything i don't like it and it's like okay now on the topic of ea ea electronic arts is literally the most shady fucking company out of any of the gaming companies they're the worst they're even worse than rockstar games which rockstar games don't even get me started on them bro so i just think that um and i love rockstar i love gta but i'm saying the company that owns gta is like really shady and egregious so it's like it doesn't surprise me that I'll, that ea is gonna do shit like that and honestly it was kind of weird to even see people go back and forth on that you know like so shocked so surprised it's like i remember when apex mobile got canceled and they were like hey it didn't make us more uh, it didn't make us enough money that's what they said and i remember people on twitter going cool um we don't care about that um buff this gun or nerf that gun like i think it was at the time it was nerf the nemesis or something like that and it's like well bro you guys kind of got what you guys you know wanted or not not you didn't get what you wanted but you guys are kind of getting that medicine taste in your mouth that i had two years ago where i said no 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 this is bullshit i'm not sinking in my fucking time into this game when that's how the company acts you know what i mean so ever since then i've been not really playing as much especially the last two months i haven't been playing as much because um i mean just because i found other games that i like more you know that's really it i mean it's not anything that apex did necessarily i mean the thing is it is stuff that they did but yeah i'm not gonna go and fucking bash the game and talk about how i hate playing the game but i still play it 40 hours a week it's like bro like, get off of the game go find something else else please 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 find another game that you really fuck with and then look at the developers and understand like bro none of these live service games are gonna be the live service game that you want and also it's always gonna be changing constantly better worse it doesn't matter it's gonna be changing that was the only thing i want to talk about i mean dude i've been seeing everyone talking about this battle pass situation and i wasn't gonna make a video on it just because i haven't been playing apex as much i didn't think i had that much of an opinion but then i thought about it and i'm like oh yeah this is the same exact feeling that everyone's getting right now and I got two years ago. You know what I mean? So with that said, I mean, fuck EA, man. Fuck Respawn.